Clayton. And two is, is better, better than, than one. one. Today we have a super rare 1972 Corvette Stingray for you guys, and it's absolutely gorgeous. But before we get into that car, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, and check out our website for all of our current inventory and more information. Awesome, okay, well let's get into this car right here. This is a 1972 Corvette Stingray. And I'm just so excited about this car. It's so rare, it's gorgeous, it's unique, it's absolutely stunning. I can't believe it's in the condition it is. Um, up front we have the very iconic chrome bumper and it's in amazing condition. It's, it's crazy. Just look at the lines on it. You don't have any big, you know, gashes in it, anything like that. It's an absolutely stunning car. I also love the, the Corvette logo right there. It's such an iconic looking car that you see this and, well, you don't see this very often, but if you did, you'd be stunned. Just the shape of the car, all the lines, the whole body of the car has such a unique look. And the, uh, the exterior color is a pewter silver, and this was uh, produced only for one year. So that's going to make it really unique within itself, as this is just such a special car with a special color, and it's so rare and unique. Down here for the tires, we have the BF Goodrich tires. And these are one of my personal favorite tires on a car, just with the white lettering on it. They look so sporty and cool. It looks has that race car, you know, an older race car kind of look to it. Yeah, I love the look and the Stingray right there. I mean, just a reminder of how cool this car is and how rare it is. You just don't see a body of a car with the shape that it has. It's gorgeous. Right here you have to open the car, the handles, you push down, open it up, and then we got that saddle brown interior. Stunning. Over here too on the window, absolutely incredible that this car has the original factory windows it has the astro ventilation uh, little logo right there just to prove that this truly is an all original car got some national corvette museum stickers right there previous owner loved this car he didn't even want to get rid of the thing he was so heartbroken to get rid of it but he uh, had some health conditions and had to had to part ways with it but um so, which is good for you, because now this could be your Stingray. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, oh. these tops over here, we have all three original tops. We have the painted vinyl top. Or, or no, 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 hard. painted hard top. And then we have the vinyl top. And then, of course, we have the soft top. And that's all original, too. Yeah, One great thing condition. On the tops, too, it's really cool. Just the pointed, the pointed exterior of them with the chrome finishing on it. The glass. Like, just look at the glass in the back of these. It's absolutely incredible that this one was produced in 1969. It was produced, it's actually really cool. Underneath it has the date that the vinyl was produced. Uh, I think it was 826, 1969, and it's just still painted on there. And so it's very cool that it's in the condition that it is. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So back here, again, just looking at the back of the car, you have just such a unique cool and it's absolutely stunning that chrome bumper and this was the last year that they uh that they used the chrome bumper so after 72 the stingrays discontinued that chrome bumper so that's making this car just so unique and rare again that it has that chrome bumper and it looks the way that it does mm -hmm. the tail lights look so cool with that the extra line in there they're just so unique i love it and again a really really unique gas cap here i mean you don't you don't see cars like that with the logo on it it's super cool looking yeah and that it's in the center and everything like that yeah should we pop the trunk real quick yeah and we have the key too bad there's no trunk <laughs> oh <laughs> no trunk on this no right. trunk but you do have a little storage compartment back here underneath got quite a bit of space and all of those individual little squares that you see those are all gonna pop up as well we'll show you that on the test drive but those all open up and give you extra storage 
So no trunk, but who needs a trunk when you're driving around in a 72 Stingray? True. I don't, I don't think you're going for Heads a practical. Heads are turning. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely not. Another feature right here, we've got the astro ventilation again, but you do have a rear view mirror. I love on the older cars, like this one in particular, there's no rear view mirror on the passenger side. So you only have a rear view mirror or side mirror on the uh, driver's side. Just some of those older cars and the different regulations in different years. It's stunning. And what about these uh, wheels? How gorgeous are those? The, that silver look, the Chevrolet. It's absolutely classy. It's gorgeous. I love this car. Me too. I think it's we should. Absolutely stunning. Should we pop the hood real quick and check out underneath that engine? Just the way that it moves the way it does, and it's all original, the condition of it is great. Let's see if I can open this up with no problems. Check that out. Wow. Look at that chrome on top. I love when you open up too, it just automatically locks. Some older cars you have a problem when you hold them up, mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't hold as well. Now look at that engine bay. It's original, the engine is numbers matching everything you'd want out of a 72 Corvette. The original sticker. I mean, that's rare to find. That's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a small block 350, 5.7 liter, automatic. And it has the 200 net horsepower. Yeah, they changed that. They made a regulation that all horsepower had to be measured that way. So it's kind of cool that you know, this was kind of a part of that time frame when they were changing things up and how things were measured. Okay, now we're going to put the top up. Layton's going to grab the lever on the left. He's going to pop this up. We're going to open the latches. Pull that top up. And again, we're not super strong girls and it's not too hard to just flip it up. Put that top down. Push this down. Push it. There you go. Okay, and then you come inside. You have the little latches here. Make sure it's lined up. There we go. Easy enough. All right, let's Normal. take it for a spin. Safety right. first, got the seat belts on. Oh. I'm excited. Let's put those seat belts on now though. I kind of like they're really cool. They're kind of like a retractable seat belt and it just comes up a single single little loop. Stamps in. You got it? Yep. There we go. Two girls to put on one. Belt. Yeah. Wow. It just sounds so Listen cool. I know, right? I was just about to say. It doesn't make it too dark in here with the top on and everything. No, it's crystal clear. 
yeah it's gorgeous and the fact that it's all that original glass mm -hmm. and it just it looks the way it does i'm in awe with this car i truly am i love the wheel too i love the older cars that have just such a thin steering wheel it's just so classic yeah you don't see wheels like that nowadays no Get this bad boy up to speed. It's not bad. Okay. We have the cassette player here, volume, tuning. I don't know how many cassettes there are out there nowadays, but. Probably could pick some up at your local thrift store. Yeah, for sure. Or dig them out of the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have the fuel oh, gauge, gosh. water temp, battery, oil pressure, and then the clock here. Oh, I love that clock. Yeah, look at that. It looks just like the other gauges, but it's the clock. Uh-huh. Nice, that's really cool. Yeah, and then we have the hidden washers here, which I love. So you push this over to the side, they and they pop up. up. That's cool. That one was the added feature, wasn't it? Yeah, that's really, really cool. And what a, like, advanced feature back in 72. Right? To someone, someone thought of that, you know? Yeah. And, like, oh, let's hide the wipers because those aren't very aesthetically pleasing. Right. We got little pockets here, which I think are just super cute. And the saddle brown leather. Got little pockets. You can store, you know, your wallet or whatever you have driving around town. Yeah. Probably got, used to keep uh, maps in there. Yeah. And the wood interior. The wood's the in great accent. Condition. Yeah, it just really looks cool. It adds to that saddle brown, kind of adds another texture. Mm -hmm. And look at 
look at the carpet too when you're done. Show them the carpet. Yeah. I love wow. The carpet. carpet reminds me of my grandparents' house. Yes, it does. <laughs> but it's homey. Yeah. You know? It truly is. I really love that. And I just can't believe the condition it's in. and then you can put like you know some bags anything like just on top sorry i'm trying to contort back here and show this to y'all there we go back Love there this carpet. i think we have a couple little knickknacks in there right now little doodads little doodad <laughs> knickknacks yeah but i mean back here it's pretty spacious you could definitely keep your purse or your backpack or whatever you're traveling with or cruising with, I should say. Show the seats too, if you can. Oh yeah. I love right here that finishing as well. Yeah, They're wow. Just so unique. I just love this leather color too. Yeah, it fits the car like it all just really fits so well, and the fact it's the original soft top, top. crazy. It's still in great shape. It hasn't deteriorated. No. It's Yeah, I, I, I love, love this how look. It hasn't been updated at all. It's been kept original. Right. Exactly as it was, and that's what makes it so special. Truly a collectible, unique, rare car. I love it. And back to the owner that we bought it from, just because I met him personally and I absolutely adored him. I but love him. Yeah, he's great. And one of the, the coolest things is he said that one of his first Hot Wheels was a Stingray. Yeah. Or and it he, was like a Corvette, like, you know, C3. And he vowed that he was going to own an original convertible Stingray one day. And he finally got it and he was just absolutely in love with it. As, yeah. As 
because I can see why. He like, searched long and hard though for one in shape like this and Oh yeah, he, he just, waited until he found the perfect one. Yeah. Numbers matching, low miles, no accidents. Yeah. And then he shipped it out to Kansas where he was living. Or but from Kansas. From Kansas. Yeah, to Naples. Oh, I thought it was to Kansas, then to Naples. But okay. So yeah, but he's been in Naples just cruising around, working on little projects and this was just really his cruiser. Yeah, just a, kind of like a fun car to take out. Not even like every day. It was just more for fun outings and just kind of, it's lived a very luxurious, pampered life. And yeah, you can tell that it has. It's been absolutely spoiled. For sure. Super cool car. Super cool story behind this one. Drives so well. Yeah, it's so it's pretty smooth. Got the original sun shades. Yeah, this one over here has that original um, sticker on oh, it. Oh wow! I think that's just the neatest thing. Even the font, you can tell that it's a uh, just an older sticker. I think yeah. that's so neat. It's really cool looking. walking by or people are walking by I can see like some of their heads turning oh yeah you can tell we're catching attention in this car Actually, gonna have to release this one as well. Perfect. Oh, we're gonna pull that in. Pull this up. Pull right in. Push the levers down. Perfect. Close that. Try to close it all the way over here. Perfect. And now we got the top down. And we're ready to go cruise off. Easy enough.